In this video, we will try to solve a problem on market demand and supply. The question is like this. Find the market equilibrium price and quantity for the following demand and supply functions. We are being given the demand function and supply function and we have to find the equilibrium price and quantity. Demand function is given as x is equal to 16 minus 2y where x is the quantity, y is the price and our supply function is given like this 4x is equal to 4y plus y squared okay so as we know uh, that equilibrium occurs i will write here equilibrium requires that our demand market demand should be equal to market supply okay that means we have to equate these two functions okay uh, first uh, i will write this is our demand function this is our supply function i will just rearrange this supply function and uh, take this four on the rhs okay so here we can write it like this x is equal to now if we transpose this four uh, on rhs it will get divided to every term so this 4 comes here, this becomes 4 by 4, 4 and 4 gets cancelled, we are left with y plus here this 4 will become 1 divided by 4, so we have 1 over 4 y square, okay, this is our supply function, this is our demand function, so here we have x on LHS, here also we have on x on LHS, okay, so we mean to equate the RHS part here, that means uh, x is equal to 16 minus 2y is our demand function x is equal to uh, y plus 1 by 4 y square is our supply function demand is equal to supply that means this 16 minus 2y should be equal to y plus 1 by 4 y square so i will write here 16 minus 2y should be equal to y plus 1 by 4 y square okay now just uh, rearranging these we can write it like this we have 16 minus 2y or i will write this very uh, term first so i will write y plus 1 by 4 y square transposing these terms so this will become minus 16 minus 16 this will become plus 2y okay and it should be equal to 0 now uh, we have here uh, 1 by 2 y square i will sorry 1 by 4 y square i will write this term first okay now y plus 2y is equal to 3y so i will write 3y and then we have minus 16 okay i am just trying to write this quadratic equation in standard form by standard form we mean that first we write the highest variable highest power of the variable then the next one or we can say we write the exponents in the decreasing order we have first square then one then zero okay now uh, again rearranging this we have to get rid of this one by four to the first term so for uh, uh, for taking this out what will we do we will multiply both sides by 4 okay so here we multiply by 4 and on RHS we multiply by 4 so this will become uh, 4 into 1 by 4 y square plus here is 4 into 3y minus 4 into 16 is equal to 4 into 0 okay i am just trying to uh, write it in the standard form and get rid of this coefficient that is 1 by 4 here we get the rid of this very coefficient so we are left with y square here it is 4 caesar 12y minus 4 into 16 is equal to 64 and here 4 into 0 is equal to zero this is our standard quadratic equation we can solve it easily now now how do we solve the standard quadratic equation for that what we need what is our middle term 
and what is our constant term we have to take care of these two okay so the coefficient of middle term is 12 here and the co uh, the constant term is minus 64 we have to find two numbers in such a manner that their sum should be equal to 12 and we have to take these two numbers in such a manner that their product should be equal to minus 16 sorry uh, this is minus 64 64 i repeat here in the this is uh, the way of splitting the middle term okay so what is our what is the coefficient of middle term it is 12 i have written it here what is the constant term it is minus 64 we have to find two numbers in such a way that their sum should be equal to 12 and the product of those two numbers should also be equal to minus 64 okay so taking the two numbers if we take here 16 okay 16 here we have minus 4 we can see 16 minus 4 is equal to 12 and we have to take these two numbers again 16 into minus 4 16 into minus 4 is 64 okay i hope i make myself clear uh, whatever two numbers we add up we have to take those numbers again so that their multiplication gives us minus 64 okay so now writing this we have y square okay then plus in place of 12y i have to write this 16 and minus 4 that is in place of 12y i will write 16y and minus 4y okay now 16y minus 4y is equal to uh, plus 12y uh, then we have minus uh, 16 sorry i will write it like this let it uh, be like this plus 16 into minus 4 okay is equal to 0 okay i have just uh, separated this very middle term okay here 16 into minus 4 is equal to b uh, minus 64 and 16 y minus 4 y is equal to plus 12 y okay now factoring out the first two terms and last two terms okay here we can factor out y we are left here with y plus 16 similarly if we take minus 4 and minus 4 is common minus 4 if we take it out we are left with y plus 16 and it should be equal to 0 now taking y plus 16 y plus 16 common y plus 16 if we take it common or factor it out we are left with y minus 4 okay should be equal to 0 now what we have the case we have either our y plus 16 should be equal to 0 or y minus 4 should be equal to 0 so i will write here either either y plus 16 is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0 if y plus 16 is equal to 0 that means y is equal to transposing this as 16 this will become minus 16 and if y minus 4 is equal to 0 which implies y is equal to transposing this minus 4 this will become plus 4 okay so we got two values for y what is our y y is price and here we can easily comprehend that price cannot be negative so we will not take y is equal to minus 16 it is not possible uh, and it doesn't make any economic relevance okay so y minus 16 y is equal to minus 16 which is not possible price cannot be in price cannot be negative which means 
y is equal to 4. That means our equilibrium level of price would be 4. Okay. And what would be our equilibrium quantity? We have to just plug y is equal to 4 in either the demand function or in supply function to get the equilibrium quantity. So we plug uh, y is equal to 4 in the demand function. That means our x would be equal to we have 16 minus 2. The value of y which we got here is 4 which comes out to be uh, which implies x is equal to now 16 minus 2 for the 8 16 minus 8 is equal to 8 okay that means our equilibrium quantity would be 8 and equilibrium price would be 4 now how can we depict it graphically let me rub this out here okay now graphically it simply means it means let us draw the graph here since we take quantity on horizontal axis so quantity sorry we take quantity uh, uh, on the horizontal axis so we have x here and price on vertical axis so we have y here what is our demand function demand function is 16 minus 2 y 16 in 16 is the intercept and uh, minus 2 uh, denotes the slope so we have negative slope this would be our demand function okay with intercept 16 i will write here 16 and what is our supply function supply function is in the quadratic form so our uh, supply function would look like this let me draw it like this this is our supply function that is y plus 1 by 4 y square and this is our demand function that is 16 minus 2y that means the intersection of demand and supply gives us equilibrium price and quantity so here we have equilibrium quantity is equal to 8 and our equilibrium price would be we have calculated it uh, equilibrium price is 4 so i will write here sorry uh, what is our equilibrium price it is 4 yes sorry for the mistake so this is it i hope i make myself clear thank you